Hello all. Welcome to part 58 of SNG training series. In this session, I'm going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use invocation timeout attribute in TestNG. So let's get started. As mentioned in the previous session, invocation timeout attribute works along with invocation count attribute. Okay. We are specifying this invocation count attribute with at the rate test annotation. Beside that, when invocation count attribute is mentioned in the at the rate test annotation, we can also provide one more attribute known as on the top of this attribute, we have to provide one more attribute known as invocation timeout if required. Okay. So what it will do, it will specify the maximum time in which all the invocations of the test method should complete. If you say invocation count is equal to 10, the same test method will be executed 10 times, right? That 10 times of execution of the test method should complete in this maximum given timeout. Okay. Invocation timeout, no matter how many times this uh, test method will run. Okay. So it should be completed in this particular time. If the test method has to run 10 times because invocation count is provided as 10. Okay. So if you specify inv invocation count as 10 seconds, within 10 seconds, the test method has to run 10 times. Okay. Within that 10 seconds only, it has to complete. Then only the test will, the this uh, overall test will pass, otherwise it will fail. For example, here invocation count is five. And if you are giving 10 seconds, within 10 seconds, this test method should run five times. If test method is unable to run five times within this 10 seconds, it will fail, okay? So let me practically demonstrate, guys. So first of all, I'll just change this number to five, guys. Uh, 10 is too much. So let, let's give it five so that uh, we can see in how much time before mentioning any uh, timeout, uh, invocation timeout attribute, without specifying, uh, I'll casually see how much time actually it is taking for the same test method to run five times, okay? We can see that, okay, let me run this. Uh, the test method will run five times and in each time it will print the random number, okay? Same automation code that I have covered in the previous session, guys, I'm using. You see random number will be printed 39. Second time, 51 got printed second time. Third time, 50 got printed. Fourth time, 56 got printed. Last time, 89 got printed. Click here, you can see the total time it took is uh, around 29 to 30 seconds, okay? Around 29 seconds. So in this case, if I specify the invocation timeout, okay? Invocation timeout attribute, if I specify like this, is equal to, if I, if I specify 10 seconds, no matter what you do, it will not complete in 10 seconds, right? It is taking 30 seconds. If I give 10,000 milliseconds here, automatically it will fail case. Intentionally, I'm giving invocation count as a uh, invocation timeout uh, attribute with this invocation count as a 10 seconds. Okay, five iterations in 10 seconds. That is not possible because for five iterations, five, five times this particular test method has to run, it is all almost taking 30 seconds as we have seen in the results, but I'm giving 10 seconds. So intentionally we are failing. Okay, let's see what will happen. So it will strike there, it will stop and it will fail. That's it, okay? Whatever the runs it has to do, it will run in the 10 seconds and uh, correctly 10 seconds it will stop. 13 got printed for now, no problem. Second one, it stopped. You see, just for the first one itself, it got failed, okay? Second iteration also has not been completed. Failure we got and we got an exception known as red timeout exception, okay? Because within 10 seconds, within 10 seconds, we are not able to complete. Let's increase the count. Let's increase the count. Uh, let's give that as uh, 30 seconds this time. Okay, 30 seconds and run this. It will work or not, let's see. Okay, still it is skeptical, but uh, let's see. First time. The application is loading slow. We can't do anything, guys. It will fail for second time again. You see, 28. Then... Second time, 15, something, something is happening. Let's see, third time or fourth time, I don't know. Not clicking actually. So there is a problem with the application and uh, it stopped means it got failed automatically, okay? Yeah, that uh, timeout happened, okay? This time it took more time, it seems more than 29, that is more than 30 seconds it took. So let me give this time, Ultimately, 50 seconds, guys, it's too much, actually. But let me give that and see. This time, it should not fail, okay? Uh, let's run this. 50 seconds is uh, maximum time, actually, okay? 
sometimes the website network will be slow also we can't do anything that is we fail if it is fast no problem 64 next second one then write 35 done third time 53 done fourth time 36 done fifth time 26 done okay it completed guys without any exception because uh, uh, the uh, this five number of times the test method got executed within uh, 50 seconds okay within 50 seconds this is what is uh, invocation timeout so hope you understood invocation timeout attribute and how to use this on the top of the invocation count attribute of the editor test annotation method so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another test ng topic for you till then see you bye bye